Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Lee, I'm a DIY electric skateboard builder. And well, I'm also turning into a bit of a hairy light bulb as we go through this corona lockdown. Fingers crossed guys, it gets uh, binned off soon and we can go back to normal life, that would be super cool. Anyway, we're here today to talk about, ta-da! I wonder, cloud wheels. Now these have been around for a little while. I did review the Foamies, which is a Slick Revolution rebrand of the um, Cloud Wheels, and uh, I thought they were pretty good. They were certainly a lot more cushioned than uh, than I was expecting, and they turned out to be pretty good. I didn't have much time on them because Slick Revolution only gave me like 24 hours to review them, and then they wanted them back, which is a shame. Um, but actually, might have been a blessing in disguise. I'm sure you guys are fully aware of the drama that's surrounding these wheels at the moment, and that is these cores cracking and blowing out, and uh, yeah, just like people losing wheels as they're riding and stuff not good. Now I wonder have responded and they have made like an updated core called the Discovery. You can tell it's the Discovery because the core is clear instead of black. All of the older cloud wheels have black cores and I believe the older cloud wheels are now sold out so you can't get them anymore. So I put a post on the Eastgate news forum asking if anyone could send me one of these wheels and a chap by the name of Visnu777 actually said he would send me three of them and when I tried to pay for shipping he wouldn't even take the shipping. That's super cool of you mate, I really do appreciate that and it's given us an opportunity here to look at this in depth. So what I plan to do is I plan to chop this in half on the table saw and we'll have a look at this foam core and see what it's like. And I also bought a USB microscope. I don't know if it's gonna work very well. I thought we could also take a look at the cores and the foam on the microscope and see what they look like. Maybe compare them to some other cores. Now these cores are super damaged. I think the chap had a bit of an issue getting them off the pulleys or whatever and just like, yeah, he just drilled the cores out basically. So unfortunately we can't inspect for cracks and look what the cracks look like, but we can look at the core material and more importantly that foam material. So let's get the table saw set up. Let's figure out how we're gonna chop this in half and then we'll get the microscope out and see if we can see anything cool. <laughs> So then guys, here we go, I've managed to get it chopped in half. As you saw there in the little um, bit of B-roll is I screwed the wheel to this piece of wood just to make it a bit easier to handle. And even then with my recently broken hand, it's quite difficult to grab that. But uh, yeah, this is what they look like on the inside. Now I think there's a cool detail here. I'm not sure whether other wheels did it because this of course is the first set of wheels I've ever cut open. But look at the core. So you've got these gaps in the core so that the urethane when it's poured can go through the core and that helps lock the core to the urethane. So when you I mean when you look at the urethane that's that's on these wheels is it's fairly tough urethane. Um, obviously I don't have a hardness meter to measure it but you know it's certainly harder than your ABEC 97s and your um, 77A uh, Kagoamas, that uh, this foam inside is actually a lot softer than I was expecting. I mean, that's a, it's a little piece there. It is just basically squishy foam that sits in this core and that allows the core to flex. Um, interestingly, obviously it's not glued in to the, to the urethane at all. So the urethane is just sort of poured, poured around it. Let me see if I can get a tool to get some of this out. Okay, so it is glued, it's glued to the core. Or at least I think it is. So 
so actually it's, I mean, it sort of felt like it was glued but there's not really any glue residue. I'm going to keep going, I'm going to get this foam out. Alright, there we go guys. Now with the foam out we can sort of see this a bit clearer. Might take off this bit of wood actually now. Okay then chaps, so um, yeah, I've pulled all the foam out of the wheel and none of it, I don't feel like it was stuck in there. It didn't feel like there was any adhesive holding it in. I don't know, when you look on the, on the foam, there's nothing. So yeah, I kind of feel like it was added. So the, the core was molded and then the foam was added onto the core um, and then the whole thing was dropped in the mold and urethane was put on it. I think that's how they were made. There's not really much to report here. I am interested in taking a closer look at this foam and also the core. So I'm going to go and get that microscope and we'll have a look. Okay guys, I've got the Fisher Price My First Microscope set up here and just going to have a look at the core and I'm also looking at what the microscope's seeing on my phone here. So I'm just going to bring that onto screen here and uh, you can see a live image of the core and well so you can see the core the inside of this foam has no um, no adhesive so it's not stuck down so there you go guys that's the foam core um, not really much to say I was hoping that I don't know what I was expecting really I was hoping it'd be a bit more interesting than that but uh, that's the foam core. Yeah, we can't really. We've got to be careful how how harshly we judge this plastic core because obviously it's been drilled out. I've cut it and whatnot. But there are some areas that you know are the original material. I wonder if we can get it a bit closer. So that's the original core material. Can I get this even closer? Do you reckon? Oh yeah, I can. I can get this a lot closer. We're going handheld, boys. an interesting core material. Obviously all these bits and bobs are from where I cut them. It's quite a rough textured core isn't it? Let me get another wheel. I'm gonna get another wheel. Let's have a look at the um, slick, slick rough stuff cores. Excuse the wobbly camera. Is that a different core material? So this is obviously the bearing, this bit, guys. But um, what we're interested in is this piece here. So that's the slick, rough stuff, first generation. That's the cloud wheel core. What about the ABEC core? I mean, it's harder to see because this is an orange coloured core instead of black, but I mean, to me, that plastic looks to be of a much higher quality. I don't know what you guys think. I would say that's a much higher quality plastic than the rough stuff. I've got another wheel. Okay, let's try. Let's try Kegel. Again, the plastic on this is different, very similar to the ABEC type plastic. See if I can focus this. Very similar to the ABEC plastic. Isn't it? Certainly compared to, you know, if we go back to look at the rough stuff again. which is, this is the same core that's on the cloud wheel, I'm sure. If you look at the plastic there on the rough stuff wheel, the quality of that, and the cloud wheel, which appears to be the same core. I mean, it's hard to tell really. I shouldn't be too harsh, because I'm just an idiot in my workshop with a Fisher-Price microscope, so. Yeah, who knows? So then guys, the I Wonder Cloud Wheel. 
and I wonder whether the Discovery Core is going to be any better. Time will tell on that. They certainly cheaped out on the materials the first time round and it's been quite a while actually. So we're about how long these have been out for. Um, so we're quite deep into them being out and quite a lot of people have got these. So I would definitely treat the new wheels with a little bit of caution, although there is a test group uh, that are testing these wheels on the DIY forum. And um, yeah, I think that these are going to turn out to be okay, probably. Who knows? A lot of people like them. Um, I thought they were okay. Um, I didn't have enough time on them. The contact patch could be a little bit better. And they've got some smaller ones coming out, some 105s that um, will probably prove to be fairly popular for Eskate, I would imagine. But yeah, okay guys, um, that's the cloud wheel video over with. Chopped one in half, had a look inside it. And it's a little bit inconclusive, really. Not sure. What do you reckon about the course, guys? Do you reckon that the plastic on the ABEC and the Kegel uh, were better? Or did you think that it was just the same, different type of material, perhaps? Who knows? Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you on the next one.